All right, I want to talk about compound logical operators in C++. So as you know, you can create true or false statements using, well, comparisons. So let's try this. First of all, if um, one is less than two, then we're going to print out something. So I'll go ahead and take these two lines right here that print true and false. Well, I'll just take the true and put it right here. And then I'm going to do else. And then I'm going to take the other line, cut that and put it right here. Okay. So now I'm going to run this. So the question is, is one less than two? Well, one is less than true two, So it should report true. And this thing is even showing me that this is the only branch of code that's going to run. This one won't run at all. But we'll go ahead and run this and see what happens. So run the code and it says true. All right. So now let's look at logical operators if you're doing more complex ones. So if you are doing these statements, one less than two, that is creating a value of either true or false, a Boolean value. So if I say if true, then it will do that exact same thing. If I do true and true then it will also still do that same true thing so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens if i do true and true the code produces true and if i do true and false then the code will run and will produce false. So the and means that they both have to be true for the entire statement to be true. So I could change this to false and true. And suddenly it's still false. Okay, not really suddenly. And I can do false and false and run this code. And it is still false. So false and false is still false. So what if I change it to an or? How does that do it? So or. So the two pipes make an or. Just so you know, if you use a two ampersands, that means and. And if you use two pipes, that means or. So if I change this to false or false and I run this, you can see that it is still, well, false. If I change it to false or true, then it runs as true. And if I change the other side to be true as well, then run this, then it's also still true. And if it changes to true and, or false, then it is, once again, still true. All right, so we can look at these statements and look at, the, look at how we could do things and say, well, what if I have numbers? So I could do one less than two well, that's a true statement. And I could do this one right here and I could say five is greater than 10. Well, so one less than two is a true statement, but five greater than 10 is a false statement. And so because it's true or false, then it, the entire thing comes out to be true. So I run this. We can see once again it generates true. So these are compound statements. You can add multiple things. You can have another one over here that says something like um, false. Another one that says true. And you can have multiple ones, and these all go into one sentence. But the thing is, because there are ors, just because the first one becomes true, it doesn't really matter if the rest of them are true or false. So it just kind of resolves itself.
And if you go to ands, well, we could take this one right here and we could say, well, this stand right here is, so it's one is less than two and five is greater than 10 or false or true. Now, because I have multiple things in here, you can see that what ends up happening is this one gets resolved and it is true. And then this becomes, this is false. And so it's true and false becomes false or false. So it's false or false, which becomes false or true. So it's false or true, which becomes true. So that's why we get this true. So if it gets compounded enough, it becomes a lot more complex. And at that point, you might want to look at doing things like parentheses. So you can take the parentheses right here. And suddenly, it is true or and false or false or true, which is true. So it's true and true. Or you could mix it up. And, uh, well, because we have this true here, it kind of makes, no matter how we move the parentheses, but you can see how these things could be done to make things work or not work. And you want to make sure you keep track. Um, if you use the ampersands, double ampersands, then you're doing and, and if you do the double pipe or, or, then you're doing an, or you can also do a not. So if not false, then that also becomes a statement. And so you could do that in parentheses. So if something like um, if five is greater than 10, which is false. So if it's not five is greater than 10, then it becomes true. And you can combine that with other things and see what you get. So it's still true because this is not false or false, which just makes it true because not false is true or false. All right, I hope that helps you with the double ampersand for and, the double pipe for or, and the not for switching signs.